what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today we are just gonna do some casual stuff um, we're going to comma Sylvia mostly so we can just do the dailies and get more t9 horse materials I'm sure a lot of you guys already know all about that but uh, we're gonna start off with the fattest and then we're gonna see if we can go to Monchum's and if that spots open then we'll just do that if not it's not a big deal but I mostly just want to go around and get some more horse materials. I've still been trying to snipe a Corsair horse tier 8 so I can um, go for tier 9 attempts, but it has been proving to be very unsuccessful, so unfortunately I'll get it when I get it. And by the time I get a Corsair, I'll probably <laughs> have enough materials to do like 5 or so attempts. But, uh,. Yeah, whenever. And other things I've been working on. Um, I might actually just buy the artisan bundle that's going on right now and then go out and enhance our dandelion. So I can make a video of it just going from like zero to try. Hopefully, I have enough uh, black stones to do it. I want to make it some sort of exciting video. Uh, I don't know, enhancing is not really that exciting unless you actually hit what you're going for. But uh, yeah. We'll see how that goes later, and hopefully it's fun. Right, anyway. I don't see people here. Is this a good spot to grind, actually, from like 56 to 58? I'm not really sure. Still have RBF potions from the other day. Let's sit that 70 and 50 okay I don't think we really need this but whatever I actually had a dream the other day I re-rolled to a striker mystic and I was just one-shotting people and it kind of makes me want to actually play Striker and Mystic. I don't think I could ever re-roll to it. I just love Dark Knight too much, even though they're like bottom of the line. <laughs> Unless you're a 261 AP or higher, but it's okay. Maybe one day, if I actually get the gear, um, I could bring my Mystic to 60 or something. They're actually making it easier to level up starting next week during the... Uh, remastered thing to making 50 to 61 like 1.2 times easier whatever that means and 61 to 62 is two times easier so maybe I could make a push for 62 on this character as well so I don't have to actually uh, pre-order Tritungrad for 7 billion silver <laughs> I'd rather not do that And then one day I'll make a Dark Knight guide, but I mean, realistically, unless you're 261 AP or higher, most it, most fights you're gonna get are not really that great. I think it's just so much different than PvP. I just really spam three skills when I'm grinding, but then PvP I actually use a full kit.
If DKs had like 10 to 15% more damage, I think they would be great. But as of right now, I think they're lower than Valkyries, <laughs> which is kind of bad. I got knowledge of a blue box. Hell yeah. Yuria Blade. Do people even use Yuria anymore? Probably get around a thousand trash loot here, but then they're only worth like a thousand each, so it's what, like a million, a million silver for just doing 600 of these. Nice knowledge. More knowledge. I actually should push to 3,000 in the future. Like, I think right now I'm at 28. Yeah, I'm at 2844. And 3,000 will get me to the next bonus. What actually do I So I figured if you watched my last uh, video, which was the um, Night Vendor rolls, I got a Griffin Helm, and I think I'm just gonna keep it because I could use it as a backup for fail stacking one day. And uh, the helmet is good because you can put XP crystals in there without having to replace your main crystals. So if I ever level up an alt again, which I probably will. Uh, I could use an extra Griffin Helm with XP instead of whatever. So I just gotta level that up or enhance that to like try or something. Alright, just another 200 of these and we're out. I need to get in a better habit of using my 100% because I usually just leave it unlocked, but now I should probably.
During the weekends, they should have like double drops for a grind loot. I think it's only gathering right now. I'm not too sure though. But if it was double loot during weekend for grinds, that would be awesome. Last 50, and we're good. Those are worth a little bit. All right, we're done here. Sweet. I still wonder if I should start grinding this place on my witch at 56, like, versus Sawson's. I don't know which one's better. They both seem like they have a pretty good uh, density. Blackstones are always helpful. Be using that in the near future. And we got, like, 30% uh, skill point. Okay, so let's see. Next we have the Monchum Forest. Could be a little bit difficult, depending on how many people are grinding there, especially during the weekend. Probably filled. So I might have to take some sort of scuffed rotation. I don't know why the auto path like makes you do a 360 sometimes to get back on track. It's kind of weird. I heard Ronaros was a good spot for XP, but that's it. Like it doesn't give you much money at all. <laughs> so that's bad. So recently, oh, like auto-pathing in Hollow Forest is not a great idea, but recently I actually invested in this node over here, the weenie cabin for the umbrella of volcanic mushrooms, and 
not sure if we got any yet. Oh, those must be the rare procs or something. But anyway, I got that node invested, so that's 5 CP. I don't know if it's worth it, so we'll just kind of keep an eye out for that for now. Like, gathering anything in this area is just not a great feeling. <laughs> it just feels tedious. Whereas, like, grinding Sheep Mountain with the density is pretty solid. Munchums doesn't seem to be full right now. That's kind of weird. It's a weekend. Alrighty. Well, let's do this. really get villa bus before going in here. You know it'd be great if I got a narc earring just come in here. It's easy money. Rumbling earth shards are kinda important. Should get these uh, huts down because I hate doing them. I actually don't know the proper rotation in this area. It's kind of kill things as I see it. I think this place, like, unless you're really high geared, is not a good place to be grinding because, one, you need about, like, 2,000 or more trash drops an hour to make it somewhat worth it, and the only, like, lottery drop that you get from here is the narc gearing, so it's not like you get scrolls or anything. You get voodoo dolls, but those aren't worth anything. Those are, like, I think people just sell them. I sell them. And I think you should be like around 250 AP with uh, like 250 or 240 with Kudum to grind here efficiently. Like, sure, you can kill stuff with 220 here, but it's kind of slow. I think I even have all S knowledge here. So, that should be, like, maximum damage.
The great warriors are the ones that have so much health. Super tanky. Goodness, I need to restock on them in uh, Grana as well before we leave here today. This is the last hut after you get, yeah. So all that are left are the spears and the other stuff that has quest objectives on it. lot of hunters and then great warriors but I'll just, anything that's here I'll just in a group I'll get it I usually just go around instead of going through it. One more spear. Those hunters and then a few more great warriors.
They actually added the forward guard to the float compartment, which is your shift left click. And I don't really understand that process, but okay. Like, for getting an extra guard, that's always great. Hello? Oh, a hunter just kind of came up to me. All right, then. Just need one more great warrior. Oh no, every time I see something like pop up there, I get excited. Because there's really only so many things you can get. <laughs> but no, it had to be a guardian stone. The worst one. Alright, let's uh do this rotation and one more circle and then we'll head out. I don't feel like grinding monchums today. It is a weekend bonus. I should go on my witch, but <laughs> I have no gear. I'd get killed by literally everything. I think the highest thing I have is like a plus 13 Zarka. An arc earring before I leave one time. I'm pretty sure we got at least like. 300 trash drop from here, which is not bad for like less than 20 minutes here, probably. Yeah. 352, not bad. <laughs> Huh, I'm at 90% till my next skill point. Kinda wanna get it. Yeah, DK skills need to be buffed again because they do like no damage. Especially the Spirit Blaze, which is a really long cast time, or like, not cast, but like, basically this is what happens. You hit it, it takes so long for that to happen in the PvP fight, you barely use it. Um, okay, I'll be at 92% for a while. I just don't want to be here anymore. Alright, so 
With that said, I think I'm going to wrap up for today. I'm going to turn these in and get the horse materials. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.